Hey watch friends, today we're going to be looking at something rather special. This is from Dorenzo, and we've actually looked at a couple different variants of this. This is their DRZ-03, also known as the Eclipse, and this is specifically the version 2. So even though we have looked at a couple previously, and do definitely encourage you to check that out, this will not be a full review since we've already done the full review, already did a model revisit with the Aqua as well as the Black variant. But today we're actually looking at a limited edition version. This is one that you might not even be able to find on their website. This is the red version, but there's also a Black variant too. What I want to do is I want to just briefly touch upon the overall as far as the characteristics of this specific watch, but I really want to highlight this optional beads of rice bracelet. This is the first time this one's been seen out here, um, and this uh, ultimately comes on the, the oyster that we've seen previously, and we'll look out throughout this video. But we'll get a better feel for this as far as the bracelet, the options there, the overall characteristics of this model, and just in general enjoy this with a lot of different and varied footage as we go throughout. So just kind of a recap of the basic specifications. The case on this is stated as 40 millimeters and from roughly the three to nine, I get 40.1 millimeters. The bezel kicks out ever so slightly to 40.5 millimeters. The lugs are a standard 20 millimeters. The lug to lug is 47.9 millimeters. So with the female end links on both bracelet styles, very optional uh, or very, I should say, uh, versatile there, depending on what your wrist size is, you should be good to go. As far as the thickness, it's coming in at 12.3 millimeters, and that's including this slightly uh, high uh, box edge crystal here. The crystal itself, as I already mentioned, is a box edge crystal, and it does have an inner AR coating. The movement is a Salita SW200, and that's the elaborate grade with the Inca block. And the water resistance is 200 meters or 20 atmospheres. So now that we have the basic specs out of the way, really just wanted to look at the overall characteristics of this particular variant. As I mentioned, these are limited editions. So there is the red variant that we're looking at today, and there's additionally a black variant. As limited editions, they are one-time runs. There's only 20, I believe, that were made of this red variant, and I believe 80 of the black variant. Both of them extremely attractive, and they're really Dorenzo's signature pieces. As being signatures, they carry through with some of the characteristics of the prior models. Specifically, in the middle, instead of just having a matte or satin texture, this actually has a meteorite uh, dial, and that is a blackened meteorite, which I think suits this so well and really achieves that eclipse effect. The standard red variant, I believe, is a deep red coloration, whereas this has that true black color and really just gives that black hole effect and really highlights that eclipse effect that we love so much when we looked at it in the full review. Additionally, you'll notice the logo itself is changed over to a red accent, but there's also the calendar wheel is actually red as well. And those are signature characteristics of the Dorenzo limited editions that's carried through from prior variants as well. Additionally, one of the more subtle aspects is the framing. So with this having the date window at the six o'clock and check that out as far as the eclipse effect that you get whenever the second hand goes past, it perfectly is lined up with that. So it not only splits that center eclipse, but then the second hand with uh, its lollipop passes right over, gives that eclipse effect there as well. But additionally, this one, instead of having a printed date window or printed uh, framing for the date window, it actually has an applied uh, for that, which really just gives that little bit of extra clasp and pop to that. All right, so now that we have talked a little bit about the watch itself, and we'll look at this as we go throughout, but I wanted to really kind of focus on the characteristics of the three link versus the Oyster. The three link, as we've seen previously, you know, it sits nicely on the wrist. Ultimately, it's comfortable. It's still held in with screws, has quick release spring bars, all that kind of stuff. And you know, really, I can't complain about this. I think it's a nicely done bracelet, but I've got to say, for me personally, I really dig this beads of rice bracelet. Not only do I like the style where it gives kind of that vintage feel and effect to this, but additionally, the articulation is just phenomenal. The left to right lateral articula uh, articulation, as well as just the drape over and around the wrist, it is so comfortable. It's so enjoyable to wear. and actually feels a little bit lighter to me as well, though I apologize, I didn't get this thrown on a scale. The things to note though, with the beads of rice, is this one does not have quick release spring bars. So whereas the Oyster does by the nature of the end links on this, I don't believe they could cut that in because you have the cutouts for the uh, the Oyster, or for the uh, rather beads of rice. This is a true beads of rice in that the individual beads themselves do articulate there. So that means whenever you are working with this, you do have to make sure you kind of pinch it and get them lined up. But once you get it sized, not a big deal. And it adds for great comfort. Some of you might be wondering if you already have an Eclipse, 
This actually has been confirmed to be compatible with the version 1 Eclipse as well, so that's great news. You should note, though, the profile is ever so slightly different between the two, so it's not a perfect, so it fits just fine, but the profile is a little bit different between the two variants, um, so do note that it won't be as good of, of a fitment as this is, but it still will work for you if you want to go that route. As far as the pricing for this, this is $100 uh, for this optional uh, beads of rice, roughly. They actually are finalizing the price. It's going to be somewhere in between, I believe, the 90 to 100 territory. So we'll call it 100 US dollars. So now that we have a better feel for the uh, overall with the watch itself, I wanted to go ahead and actually bring in, I have some different styles. So as we've looked at, we've seen the three link, we've seen the beads of rice. Additionally, I wanted to go ahead and throw it on a white rubber just to give you an idea what that looks like to get kind of that tropics vibe but additionally bringing out the light coloration against the dark. Additionally, we have a black rubber strap, and again, giving you just kind of a different feel. This is more of a slab type construction here uh, for that, but giving you an idea of how that kind of pairs. Really, I think this has been surprisingly versatile for colorations there. And then finally, I wanted to show this on an Artem sailcloth strap as well, just to give a different feel for that. So really, I think all of these complement it quite nicely, and I've liked the look across the board. The biggest thing, though, is just this overall colorway. colorway. For me personally, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The red one with the no date was actually the first variant, I believe, to sell out, and it's understandably so. The coloration on this with having the polished ceramic bezel insert, just like the others do, you can see this is a deep red. You'll see sometimes, depending on the lighting, sometimes it looks burgundy, sometimes it looks a little more red, but it perfectly complements that fume effect that you get going where it has on the outer edge of that bowl-shaped dial, which is kind of the signature there. It really just kind of fades into that and just flows all the way even to the exterior of the, uh, of the watch, which I think is just a really nice touch. So across the board, I've absolutely been impressed with uh, this, this watch as a whole as far as the model. I like the other variants as well. But I gotta say, for me, this one's definitely the winner. I love the, uh, the two limited editions, the red that we're looking at, as well as the black, I think is really slick as well. But for me, you know, it's, it's special, I think, having, uh, as a Dorenzo fan, it's special having one of those limited editions, having the numbered on the case back. But on this uh, Beads of Rice bracelet, I think that takes it to an, another level here. So let me know what you think, stylistically, which one do you prefer? Do you like the Beads of Rice? Did you prefer the original three link? You know, ultimately, you of course have the option. Um, you comes with the Oyster, but you can add the Beads of Rice, even if you already have one. Similarly, do you like the rubber straps or do you prefer the bracelet? For me overall, I think the beads of rice is the winner. So there you have it. I hope this video has been an enjoyable, just quick look at this one. If you did enjoy it, as always, please do hit that like button. Additionally, if you haven't done so already, please get that subscribe button a tap. Thanks for watching.